Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about congruence of triangle. Now we know we can make many triangles if the length of only one side is given. Look here. All the three triangles have a side equal to 5 cm but they all are different. Same way when the two sides are given even then we can draw many triangles which are not same. But if the length of three sides are given then we can draw only one triangle. Here all the triangles we have drawn with 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm as sides are same because they are congruent and they are congruent according to the SSS rule that is side 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 all the corresponding three sides are equal in all the three triangles say you are given measurement of one side and one angle 5.5 cm as a side and one angle could be 65 degrees look triangle 1 has a side equal to 5.5 cm and an angle which is 65 degrees. Same way triangle 2 has the same. Even the third triangle has a side which is 5.5 cm and an angle which is 65 degrees. And as we can see all of these three are different. You may wonder what if two sides and the included angle are given then what let us see now you are given two sides and the measurement of angle included between them say 5.5 cm 3.4 cm are the lengths of two sides and the included angle is 65 degrees so first we draw a triangle with 5.5 cm and 3.4 cm as the two sides and the included angle between them is 65 degrees. Next we draw another triangle, triangle 2 but this time 3.4 side is the base and it makes 65 degree angle with 5.5 cm side. Here we draw another triangle with 5.5 cm and 3.4 cm sides and 65 degrees angle between them. They are looking different. But look closely. If we just rotate the last two triangles that is the triangle number 2 and 3 they will match with the first one in shape and in size. Thus, we can superpose one or the other, all of the three. What does it mean? It means they are congruent. So, when the length of two sides and the measurement of the angle between them are given, whatever triangle we draw, they all are congruent. It is a simple formula to check the congruency of triangles. Here in triangle ABC, and triangle PQR the magnitude of line segment AB is equal to the magnitude of line segment PQ. The magnitude of line segment BC is equal to the magnitude of line segment QR and the magnitude of included angle B is equal to the magnitude of angle included which is angle Q. So if the two sides and the angle between them are same in the two triangles, they are congruent that is same in shape and size. To remember this rule, just remember SAS that is side angle side. Now how to draw a triangle if the two sides and the included angle are given? Well, First, we draw a rough sketch of the triangle we want to draw. Assume we want to make 5.5 cm side that is AB the base of the triangle. This side BC is 3.4 cm. 
the angle between AB and BC is 65 degrees. Now we draw the line segments of the given lens 5.5 cm and 3.4 cm using the ruler. As we have decided to make 5.5 cm the base of the triangle, we draw a line which is longer than 5.5 cm and let's name it AO. So here is the ray AO. Take a compass with a sharp pencil attached to it. Now measure 5.5 cm line segment with the compass. Now put the needle on the point A of the line or the ray AO and cut off 5.5 cm line segment. We made a cut on the point B. So AB is 5.5 cm. Now look at the rough sketch. This side BC is 3.4 cm and the angle here is 65 degrees. So let's draw 65 degrees at point B. We draw the 65 degree angle using the protractor. So angle B is 65 degrees. Put the protractor on the line segment AB such that AB coincides with the base of the line on the scale on the protractor. Point B should be at the middle mark of that baseline in the protractor. We make a point at 65 degrees, thus we draw a 65 degree ray at point P. This arm BC is going to be 3.4 cm. So we cut off 3.4 cm using a compass. Take the measurement of 3.4 cm using a compass. Put the needle on the point P and draw a little arc which cuts the arm of the angle. This point is point C and we get BC equal to 3.4 cm. Now we join A to C to complete the triangle. Look here, we have drawn a triangle ABC with the two given sides and the included angle. If we again draw another triangle with the two given sides and the included angle, we will see the two triangles are congruent. So, if the two sides and the angle between them are equal to the corresponding sides and the angle of the other triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. To remember this rule, remember SAS that is side angle side and this is the side angle side that is SAS theorem of congruence of triangle. When the two sides and the included angle of one triangle are respectively equal to the two sides and the included angle of the other triangle, the triangles are congruent. So that was all about congruency of triangles. Bye-bye children.